You know, I may want to bring some ice down to Cosmo. I understand it's a little warm down in the studio at Bacon Hill tonight. You know what? I got the lights. Bring it on. <laughs> bring on the heat, Mark. Bring it. Bring it. We'll get you some powder, too. All right. Time to get down to business with this man right here, Cosmo Macero, Benil and Associates. Cosmo, what can we say? Brutal day in the markets. Dow down 250 points. The Nasdaq up 2.5%. I know some banks were downgraded today, global banks, but the bottom line here is the global economy is slowing down, screeching almost to a halt in some places. Yeah, global movements are definitely having an impact here in the U.S. on the markets. You know, Moody's downgraded about a dozen investment banks. There's uh, global uh, relationships there. Honestly, I think this is a sign that banking has become just too complicated. It ought to go back to the simplicity of you take in deposits, you pay a little interest, you lend out money, you pay you, uh, and and you uh, and you take in a little more. Simple business plan. All these investment banks have been downgraded. That's not great news for the economy. The Federal Reserve didn't give us a lot to celebrate about yesterday. A very complicated, mixed statement. Though they did say interest rates, put it, you going know, take it to the bank. Uh, they'll be low through 2014. That's good news. But we'll see where it takes us. Now, let's talk about those interest rates. Let's talk about that because we do have rates the lowest again on record happened today. Uh, you also have homes, though, people want to put on the market, but they're not finding that they got a lot of value because they've fallen off so much over the last four years. So they're not putting them on the market yet, hoping for a rebound in housing. Yeah, the conditions are great to buy right now. Rates are really low. Prices are depressed, so it's a good time. But sales fell off in May nationwide. I think it's because homeowners who are inclined to sell are saying, you know what, this looks like the bottom of the market. Do I want to sell here? I don't think so. If I can tough it out, if I've got a rent or if I can hang on to that property, I'd like to get more value instead of selling at the bottom. If you're a buyer right now, you can find a deal, you can find a house you want, buy it. Because rates are staying low and prices are, are certainly still depressed. All right, let's talk about a BC study I found very interesting today, and that is that 70 is the new 65 when we're talking retirement, and that it really pays to work a few extra years. I mean, literally pays and helps you out down the road. Yeah, it does, it does pay to defer those Social Security benefits for that additional five years. You really get that back. That can mean the difference, especially for middle and lower income people, uh, to having a good retirement. You need about 75% of whatever you earn to enjoy the same kind of lifestyle in retirement mm -hmm. at whatever level you are. So by working those five years, uh, additionally, you can achieve that. Now, what if you have a manual labor job or heavy physical labor? Sure. It could be tougher because it's tougher to work until you're 70 when you've got that kind of position. Yeah, it certainly is. Depends on the individual. I'm one of those people, though, I think I'm going to wait a little bit. I think you got to stay active. That's the key. I'm too young to be talking about retirement right <laughs> Me now, too. so let's, just not, let's just not talk about it. Very good. Stay cool in the heat out there, Cosmo. We'll be talking with you again next week. All right.